If you struggle with having your mascara go right on your lid or smudge underneath your eyes, I'm going to show you a couple tips to make it so that never happens again. When you've got hooded eyes, your eyelashes are going to touch your lids. Throughout the day, my lids will produce an oil. Any oil is going to take off a mascara or make a mascara smudge because that's what oil does. It breaks down your mascara, even waterproof. So my best advice is to take an eyelid primer. You just need a tiny little dollop. Run it between your fingers. You don't need a ton, but you want it around the whole thing, but especially right there. That's exactly where your lashes are going to touch. Although your eyes could be different than mine. My solution is to just put it all over the lid. Give that like 30 seconds to just absorb onto your eyelid. And while you're doing that, you can go ahead and curl your lashes. Okay, one of the best things that you can do for your lashes is to get a really good eyelash curler. Cheap ones have the potential of pulling your eyelashes out. My favorite one is the Refer. I honestly did not realize how big of a difference an eyelash curler it could be till I got this. Here's how you know you have the right one of those. When you go to curl your lashes, you don't have to try to not pinch yourself constantly. If you're constantly like giving it a little thing to make sure, oh, no, 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 and it's always pinching in some place, you don't have the right curve. You need to go find one that does have the right curve. That's what a good eyelash curler will do and a couple techniques when you use it. You don't want a, a fold. You want it to be a nice natural scoop. Take the curl, get it all the way in, Give it a couple squeezes, come out a little bit, obviously release it and come out, release, pull out a little bit, squeeze, and do you see I'm like kind of pumping it? I always take my finger and kind of separate them and do it again. Okay, to prime or not to prime, that is the question. Should you prime your eyelashes? I have not felt like I get amazing more hold, amazing more volume if I prime. But I do have one mascara that I absolutely love and it happens to have a primer on it. This is from L'Oreal and it is their Voluminous Superstar X Fiber and it is in waterproof. I only use waterproof and that is another game changer. If you struggle with lashes, even with a primer, going up and touching your lid and you're going to have, have smudging there or if you smudge underneath your eyes a lot, you might want to switch to a waterproof. The other thing is waterproof will make it so that it will hold your curl much better. Now, some people have no problem with this. They get a great curl. Your lashes are naturally curly. Mine are not. Mine uncurl when I use anything but a waterproof mascara. If you really want to use a different kind is to get a very natural kind of mascara. L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof. It looks like this. I'm going to link all these things below. This one gives you a really, it gives on me a very natural lash. It's not very huge, even though it says it's voluminous. I don't get a very voluminous look out of it. You could use this kind first, just to give your lashes a nice coat of waterproof mascara. And then you can go ahead and use any mascara you want after that. Let it dry down a bit and it will potentially not uncurl your lashes. To me, that's a lot of steps. I would rather just use the mascara that I already have and just stay with waterproof. Here's an easy way to do mascara so you don't get it on your lids, which is really easy to do when you have hooded lids. Take your mirror and get a really close one. This one's 10 times zoom. Instead of going like this, put it underneath you so you're looking down. Take your mascara and just give a nice even coat now remember, this is the primer. What you want to do also is you can just run it across the tips. Run it through. Now you're not looking for a really strong coat here. You're looking for a very soft coat. Go around to the other side. Okay, so that's not going to give me huge volume. That's just 
coating my lashes with the primer. Now we're going to go into the actual mascara. So again, look down, jiggle, jiggle a little bit to deposit. And when you're looking down, you're less likely to get it on your lids. Get your tips. Dip in again, don't pump it. Squirrel it around, squirrel it around, I don't know. Rummage it around on the inside, but don't pump it. And again, look down. You could go ahead and do another coat. My tip on doing multiple coats, don't ever let one coat completely dry. It's very hard to get the mascara to go through. I'm not a huge fan of multiple coats. I like to just do one, possibly two. I've never done three. That's just me. Now the question is, do you do the bottom lashes? You have heavier, longer top lashes, but your bottom lashes are much more sparse usually and they're not as long usually so why would you want to make your bottom lashes be as long as your top it's okay to bring them out but i think it looks kind of like a spider <laughs> when you have your bottom lashes be too bold that's my opinion i realize i just want them to show up this one i'm going to look kind of up a little bit because i don't want to hit the bottom so wait till your top are, are done, or dry, I should say. And see how it's just very faint? You don't want someone to look at you and go, oh, mascara on the bottom of your lashes. You just want to see, oh, pretty eyes. If you get too much on one lash, which I usually do on this side, I will just take immediately and take off the extra. If you really want to get your lashes to look like they're really filled in, go ahead and do a tight line. So a tight line is where you just take your lid, bring it up. This one from Essence works really well because it's waterproof. This eye looks like it's much more bold than this eye. I do have some favorite waterproof mascaras that are all from the drugstore. And I, of course, did a video all about that. So I'm gonna link that video right here. You can go check out what my favorite ones are. I will see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.